Hello Fragrant Friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Perfume Geek and I am Jada and I am definitely a Perfume Geek. Wanted to come on and do a little midweek quick review of a new perfume that just came out in March that I have been testing for the last few days. It is by the French perfumer Etat Libre d'Orange, uh, which is a little niche perfumery in France. And the name of the perfume is You or Someone Like You. Now the, the name of the perfume comes from a novel that uh, perfume expert Chandler Burr wrote about an English woman who is an avid gardener who is transplanted when she marries a Hollywood movie producer and finds herself in the Hollywood Hills in LA. I have not read the book so I can't really tell you more than that. That's just what I got from the website. But I am going to find that book because it sounds really good and up my alley. Um, I'm also a fan of Chandler Burr, the author of the book. He is quite the expert on perfumes. He has created some perfumes. He writes about them. And he also consults with companies like Scent Trunk and such. So he knows his perfumes. So I, I have been excited to try this. And it finally came in the mail. And I wanted to talk to you guys about the notes. Uh, the website is very mysterious about the notes. Uh, Chandler doesn't really want to tell you what the notes are. In fact, one of the quotes is, is that the work is the work. And basically, you either like it or you don't. But uh, I did find on Scentbird a description which includes uh, mint, grass, uh, I'm trying to think what the other note was. I've just forgotten it. Oh, mint, grass, flowers, and cactus juice. The most important thing I wanted to talk about. Mint, grass, rose, and cactus juice. So uh, I've got a little sample here, and I wanted to share with you guys. It is so unusual. It is like nothing you find mainstream in the department store. That I can tell you. Uh, the first thing I smell is definitely the mint. Uh, but I'll tell you, what I smell is catnip mint. Uh, the same mint that I grow for my cats. Um, I noticed it the other day when I was out in the garden with the cat, getting him some catnip. And I thought, that smells exactly like this perfume. So it's definitely mint, but um, I imagine this English lady in the novel growing catnip for her cats. That's what I smell. I definitely also smell some grasses. And if it's cactus juice, it's not a sweet juice like this prickly pear syrup. It's more of a clean, soapy cactus like an aloe plant or saguaro cactus. Um, I don't know. It, it really is a mysterious fragrance, and it, uh, it's, it's really quite good. I've, I've already put it in my Scentbird queue to get a Scentbird one next month. But I am enjoying the fire out of this sample. So I just had to share with you this little midweek review of it. Um, Etat Libre de Orange, Etat Libre de Orange, I'm trying to be French, but I'm butchering it has so many interesting perfumes and they're one of my favorite perfumers so I'm not surprised that this is good um, it's I can't wait to try it when the full size comes and I can spray it I'll be interested to see the spray version versus the dabber anyway I just wanted to share this with you guys this launched in March so it's brand new so um, you know we're just getting around to seeing it and finding it on the market so I thought I would share my impression that's it for this video. Until next time, stay fragrant, my friends. Find a perfume that you like and wear what you like, and I will see you next time. Take care.